Hello everybody, today we need to have a talk about wombats. There's a lot we can say about wombats. They're marsupials who weigh up to 80 pounds. Their closest relatives are koalas. They dig 100 foot long burrows with dozens of entrances. And because they spend a lot of time underground in these burrows, they've adapted to survive in low oxygen, high CO2 environments. They can run at 25 miles per hour, which is nearly the same speed as Usain Bolt. And a group of wombats is called a wisdom. But we're not here to talk about all that. We're here to talk about butts. You may have heard that wombats make cube shaped turds. <laughs> If not, congratulations on learning a fun fact. Your brain probably deleted a core memory in order to make space for that fun fact. Maybe it was a happy memory of your father pushing you on the swing set. That memory is now gone and has been supplanted by a six-sided block of marsupial feces. Incredible, yes? Yes. But the fun facts don't stop there. Wombats actually grind out 80 to 100 of these turds a day. If humans crapped this much and averaged four inches per turd, we'd make 33 feet of poop a day. That's 10 meters, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, these fun facts sure are fun, but they beg the question, why is wombat poop shaped like that? Wombat poop is cube shaped so they can stack it on tall all uneven surfaces such as logs or rocks without it rolling away. They stack their poop like this in order to mark their territory and also attract potential mates. Their turd totems are basically a wombat's version of a keep out sign. I hate you, go away. Or a dating profile. I love you, come back. Basically, they are playing butt Jenga as a means of communication. Extraordinary, yes? Yes. But that's still not why we're here today, having this conversation about wombats. We're here to talk about butt cheeks. Wombat butt cheeks are composed of bone plates that have fused together to form a protective shield. On top of that shield is a layer of fat, skin, and fur. When attacked, a wombat will dive into a burrow with their rump facing outward. This is because their armored butts contain very few nerve endings, so when they're scratched or bitten, they barely feel it. It's basically Captain America's shield. If it made poop. And while in this defensive position, a wombat will often flatten its body up, leaving a gap between themselves and the roof of their burrow. And when a predator comes by and pokes its head in, the wombat will do something incredible. It'll slam its battle-hardened glutes upward, crushing the predator's skull with a series of breathtaking butt slams. Jesus Christ. And this, my friends, is why we're having a conversation about wombats. They have surface to glute missiles, marvelous murder cheeks, weaponized ham slammers. Wombats are adorable, huge, high-speed marsupials who defecate Lego bricks and crush the skulls of their enemies using brutal, beautiful buttocks. They are extraordinary. I think about them often. You should too.